Read the newspaper with me. The noose around our necks. This is USA Today, January the 14th, 2022. The money section. Okay, so let's look at the line that's to be drawn on your head, otherwise known as headline. <laughs> Shelves are empty again. Scarcity in the U.S. Some supply shortages are regional. Others part of a global labor and life changes. Well, listen, it's all BS. Those are BS shelves right there. You see? They're BS shelves. Why? Because they put their BS on the shelf for you. There are no shortages of anything. There are corporations that leave things in warehouses and don't get them out to market. It's called withholding. Not a shortage. It's called intentionally withholding things. Why? A couple of reasons. Number one, the prices will go up. If you withhold long enough, it will drive the price of that good up. So corporations can make out big time in a time of so-called shortages. Now let me tell you something else. This whole idea of scarcity, shortages, empty shelves is completely manufactured. By that I mean through manipulation. It's simple. You just withhold. You don't get it out into the stores. All right. Now, another point for you to digest is this. In a regular demand supply economy, there are no shortages. Shortages occur when the government steps in. The government creates them. And there are basically two very obvious types of economies where the shortages are noticeable. The first one is a war economy. Now listen to me. This is a war economy. Now why do I say it's a war? If you go back to my other videos on the 80 year war cycle. Now, I thought about putting it up for you so you could see it. But I've decided now I'm going to make you work. All right? Get out a piece of paper and a pencil. Pause this and get one. All right. So write down 1781. American Revolution ends. Now add 80. 
1861, Civil War begins. Add 80, 1941, World War II. Add 80 to 1941, 2021. You're right smack in the war cycle. Now, it is a war, and the expenditures are probably going to far exceed any type of war in terms of bombs and bullets. I don't have the data in front of you, but I see it thrown in my face all the time about all this relief money that's being sent out to anywhere and everywhere. The total is going to be so enormous that people will say, oh, I wish we would have had a bomb and a bullet war. <laughs> it wouldn't be as costly. So this is a war economy whereby things are being controlled. Now the other type of economy is communism where the government controls the economy and sets it and that's exactly where we're at a war economy and a communistic situation whereby it is not the economy itself that regulates itself. It's regulated by an outside force. And that outside force, apparently, is corporations and corporations in cooperation with a phony government. And it only leads to one thing. Communism is here in disguise. Scarcity, shortages, they're manufactured by a government and by corporations working together to make life really miserable. Well, I'll try to end on a positive note, and the positive note is this, that if you read the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. And that these things are the food, the clothing, and the shelter. In other words, God will take care of you, even in a time of scarcity, even in a time of short supply, even in a time where communists are in charge. Believe that God is in charge of your life and let Him provide for you. He will. He will take care of you. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.